Hi, the purpose of this video is to show you how to run an iPhone or iPad app with the Vision OS SDK. If you already have an iOS or iPad OS app, in most cases, you can bring it to Vision OS. So let's look at how that works. I will go to Xcode. Over here, I have already created an iOS app. It integrates stream chat and video. It is a drawing canvas similar to the Apple's Freeform app for iOS. In the toolbar, you can see I have selected iPad 10th generation. So let's run it to see what we have. As I said before, this is a drawing canvas on which you can pick some set of tools, draw on the canvas, chat with other people, and also make a video call. Let's also run it with an iPhone simulator. I will change the device from iPad and select, for example, iPhone 15 Pro and run it. So it is the same as the iPad version, but here we don't show all the drawing tools. So we can draw on the drawing canvas and also select some tools here. We can initiate a chat like the iPad version and also initiate a video call. So let's go back to Xcode. I will go to the toolbar again. Let's change the device from iPhone and select Apple Vision Pro designed for iPad and run the app. So here we get this error message because the app uses a minimum deployment target that is less than iOS 17.2. So let's click OK and select the main app folder. Let's go to the general tab. You can see the minimum deployment here is set to 17.2. So let's change it to 17.1 so that it matches that of the Vision OS simulator. We can now go ahead and run it again. So you can see over here, it brought the same iPad version to the Vision OS simulator. And here we can do the same thing by picking any of the drawing tools and just draw. The chat and video calls also work in the same way. To move the window around, we can use the navigation tools. So this is how to bring an existing app from iOS or iPadOS and run it with the Vision OS simulator. In the next video, we will dive deep into the Vision OS simulator. Thanks for watching and wait for the next.